this last day today, we just went to Paradise to have some dim sum and I'm so full. I wanted to write her an ang pao and I have to write it in Mandarin because she cannot read English and we communicate via Chinese. So it's been pretty challenging. I don't know if I wrote it correctly and I actually didn't look at dictionary at all. Yay! So I, I said that uh, he is now bye bye pang pang which is like fair 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 fair. <laughs> and some well wishes. It's the year of the rabbit, so it looks like a Pikachu rather than a rabbit, honestly. are mad. They say they want to try the breast milk. Are y'all really up for it? You're not very enthusiastic. I'm not gonna let you try. It's very precious, you know. It's very precious, you know. Don't play, play. So here, we have some from the fridge. <laughs> you want a whole cup? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm scared to drink from the bottle. You want to what? Like, share saliva with Matthias Michael. <laughs> Okay, I'm choosing the one that is the least fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not nice. No, it's less than 24 hours, so if, if the baby can drink it, you can drink it. I'm putting it into a shot glass. Just a, a bit, yeah? Glass. No, not one shot, nah, just a tiny bit. I can't believe we all drank our breast milk. I think we have up our friendship <laughs> level by one notch. <laughs> The both of them say there's no taste, but Sharon and I think it really tastes like milk. Like, to me, it really tastes like milk. And it's kind of weird. I am heading to Metro Paragon for a long con shoot. We're doing like a skin check thing where I did the skin check one week ago and I wanted to challenge myself to see whether or not the skincare really does have results. So I used it consistently for seven days and today is the seventh day so I'm gonna go and check it out. Right, end of shoot and today I'm meeting Cheryl. Uh, for brunch at Surrey Hills but we have been chatting on Instagram for a while and I guess like mummyhood has bonded us together so I thought um, it would be nice for us to come back here and I love the food here so I'm back That's 6.50 Cheryl, I was just telling them right, it's such a random yeah. friendship that we have, but it happened. I remember I just like commented and said yeah. like congratulations <laughs> on your mom because you appeared on my um, explore. That's why I was like congratulations mommy. Oh my god. <laughs> and here we are eating chili crab pasta. Okay, <laughs> just met Cheryl and honestly, I am so happy and so glad we made that work and she's a great person but anyway I am on my way to the Bobby Brown event right now <sighs> the weather is so hot and so erratic these days but I don't know what this event's about I'm excited I'm all the way here at Sentosa <laughs> and feeling the beach vibes my blusher needs to chill oh no What are you here for? You're here to see my car. Yes. <laughs> and ransack my house. Ooh. So precious, huh? Hello. Happy two months old, baby. Happy two months old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's so Gemma? See, see. Is it coming? She's able to see. I am D E D dead. And this wrist guard makes me look black. 
I fell down and fractured my arm or something bad. It's actually a wrist scar because I've got the mummy's wrist. It's gotten quite bad because I haven't been very diligent with wearing it. But my in-laws just left. Um, Matt's grandma was also here. They come over every Sunday after church to have lunch together at my place because we've got a new baby and it's inconvenient to go out. I'm very thankful that they often do that for my parents. Um, it's a, it's the other way around, like we have to go over to their house and I can't bring baby there because it's always his sleeping time. Today, I just feel really 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 horrible because Micah hasn't been sleeping at all, like at all. It's like he wakes up every 20 to 30 minutes and it really stresses me out apart from the fatigue of just hearing him cry and soothing him to sleep throughout the day and night um, I take turns with the helper it's also really stressful because I know that it's very bad for his brain development if he doesn't sleep and he's still a newborn so he needs to sleep finally like put him to bed like to, to sleep for almost an hour uh, today and I have been trying since 7am all the way to about 1.30pm so it's just a vicious cycle of he goes to bed 20 minutes, he wakes up, I soothe him back to bed, 20 minutes, back to bed, 20 minutes, and then he feeds and then sleep, 20 minutes, and it just goes on like that. So all of us are extremely exhausted. I don't know, like, mummies, I think you guys understand what I, what I mean by you just feel absolutely in a spot because you know that people are here to see the baby, but you can't really say no but you have to say no because he finally like went past the 30 minutes um sleep mark you don't want to like just set him in a frenzy again so anyway um Matt's grandma wanted to go into the room and I like I don't know why I reacted that way I kind of jumped and I was like no 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 like that and everyone got shocked you know and I know that they were probably thinking and looking at me like oh no like she is she okay like she's going like crazy you know and I think knowing that they think that way of me makes me feel so terrible because before I became a mom I told myself I'll never become a mom like that and I feel like I just failed myself and you know it shouldn't have to be this difficult but I get it now because no matter how hard you try no matter how much effort you put in, you've done your best. The results might never be how you want it to be. And even now, he's up again. These guys can hear. And uh, Sophia, my helper, is helping to soothe him right now. Yeah, I just feel horrible on all fronts and all angles. And I'm just thinking if I should send my mother-in-law a text to explain myself, to apologize. Or what should I do? Because I definitely don't know why I reacted that way. I regret reacting that way. But at the same time, I'm glad I reacted that way. You know what I mean. Good morning, folks. It's Monday again. Um, I've decided that I want to kind of try out like a Mondays and Fridays. I'll work from home and then the rest of the week, I will work in the office or be out at shoots. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but... I gotta try, you know. I just feel like I've been trying to work from home for most days and most of the time I manage to do it like half of the week but it's like half day. It doesn't satisfy my... Like I just miss my son a bit too much so it doesn't satisfy it so I'm not sure if spending a few full days with him like maybe better quality time would be better. I'm not sure but I'm just kind of shifting things around. Anyway, this is my breakfast. Dun, 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 dun. None other than Sarah Till Bakes. But anyway, really, really love her cookies. You can see, right? It's like nicely charred at the bottom. It's nice and thick, full of ingredients and pretty quality ones. These brownies are also really nice, very rich, decadent, not too sweet. I finished one already. 
Okay, today is actually a very stressful day because it's Micah's second month vaccination day. I think no parent in this world would be looking forward to this day. The last few times I actually brought him to the hospital for some blood tests because of his jaundice and it was already a very traumatizing experience because three nurses plus me, we had to hold him down while he was really screaming at the top of his lungs and he was actually like tearing with actual tears streaming down his face. Super happy. Like, I could feel the physical pain like in my heart, you know. I'm really just hoping that today won't, won't be like the same thing again. I decided to call for the at-home doctor to come to do his vaccination. So Speed Dog is coming because I love using them. They are the best. So at least in the day, I get to let him enjoy like his favorite playtime, his morning routine and everything. So um, he's more calm. Because he didn't really cry that much and the doctor said he was a strong boy. Did he? He did, right? Today's food tasting location. Enchanted Cafe. Uh, this is the Rangoon Road branch. It's more of like a garden theme. It's so pretty actually. Actually, looks very good. I tried the truffle crisscross fries, and it's so good. Okay, it's lucky last. Judging me because I said Chinese is So we are rewarding ourselves. Some nice food is 